Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I move to the matter of public importance today, which is educational outcomes in Tasmania. The Tasmanian Liberal Party is completely united in our commitment to education in Tasmania. We don't just support education and we don't just support government education and non-government education. We support uh, parents and the essential role that they play. We strongly believe in parent engagement. We want to see that increased. We strongly support and value Tasmanian teachers and the profession across all sectors and what they bring to uh, Tasmanian education. And I know that uh, in the remarks that uh, the Liberal Party uh, will want to be making today that we're very, very concerned, we're deeply concerned with uh, Tasmania's educational outcomes. Uh, uh, nobody should believe uh, what I know the Labor Party and the Greens will seek to do, which is to try to paint a picture that somehow the Tasmanian Liberals are out to get teachers. Far from it. Uh, we are targeting the Minister for Education and Skills and uh, his predecessor, Labor and Green Education Ministers, who have comprehensively failed to deliver an education system in Tasmania that works. And that's what this is really about today. It's about government accountability. I mean, who could forget the experiments that this government over now 15 years under Labor and now under Labor Green have experimented on Tasmanian young people, experimented on structures in our education system at tens of millions of dollars of cost, years of wasted human potential. Uh, and what is the accountability? We saw it in the final dying days of Tasmania tomorrow, just last sitting fortnight, where the Minister for Education utterly refused to accept any accountability or responsibility for what he and his party had done to the colleges and the TAFE system in Tasmania by extending the life of the failed Tasmania Tomorrow model. The Minister for Education failed to apologise to all of the many Tasmanian students and families whose education had been disrupted and, uh, and obstacles put in front of it from being able to achieve their potential in life because of the amazing waste of dollars, taxpayers' funds and human potential through the years of the Tasmania Tomorrow education experiment. As recently as yesterday, uh, rather uh, over the weekend, we saw the Minister for Education and Skills with his grand announcement, not that he was going to move to improve educational performance, but that he wanted to give 16-year-olds the right to vote. Yeah. Now, that is a legitimate debate to be had, and it will be had later today. But what this, in, what this demonstrates is, is that the Minister for Education and Skills doesn't actually have a focus uh, from a priority point of view on education. He has a focus on his green politics and the politics of self-interest because he imagines that 16 and 17 year olds, especially on an opt-in basis, are going to vote for his struggling party. Secondly, Mr Speaker, the Minister for Education and Skills uses as one of his arguing points uh, he speaks of the incredibly well-educated 16 and 17-year-olds. I love 16 and 17-year-olds as much as anyone else and value the but contribution that they make to Tasmanian life. I value stupid. their role in Tasmanian politics, especially as I know they're passionate about issues and they want to see positive change in the community. I welcome that. But for the minister to try to make this euphemism that Tasmanian young people are incredibly well-educated belies the fact that Don't Tasmanian worry. young people Nobody's are listening. the poorest educated in the country. No We've seen around. as recently no, no as last year the NAPLAN data. Is, it damns the minister's statement because they are the lowest performing students in Australia. Tasmanians, it's when they outrageous. leave school, become the lowest paid Australians. Tasmanians, as we saw in the 2009, which is the most recent uh, PISA uh, program for international student assessment results, showed that, except for the Northern Territory, Tasmanians have their poorest performance in li uh, reading, uh, uh, literacy, mathematics and scientific capabilities. And the minister over here yesterday, during the time of tabling of a motion, said that he was proud of those figures. Well, shame on you, minister. Your priorities are all wrong. And we are seeing Tasmanians not reaching the potential they are capable of. I strongly believe that Tasmanian students are not born stupid, that they are born with as much potential as anyone else in Australia or anyone else in the world. I know that the Tasmanian students, young people, as they enter the Tasmanian education system, have the capability, if the government will only put its head in the game, focus on quality, focus on quality teaching, Focus on attendance, focus on giving a supportive school environment, giving them behavioural standards to reach for so that classes are not disrupted, giving teachers the practical skills that they require to deal with the many challenges that Tasmanian students bring to education, making sure that there is a focus on results and quality 
and for once we wish the Minister for Education would finally admit that Tasmania's Year 12 completion rates are utterly appalling. And shame on you, Minister. You've been Minister since Black Friday in 2011, and you have done nothing, not a thing. You have done nothing to address Australia's lowest Year 12 completion rates. That's some religious little, thing. Little wonder. Is that a religious little thing? Little wonder that Tasmanian adult population, working age population, unfortunately half of whom are considered by the Australian Bureau of Statistics as functionally illiterate, unable to reach their potential in the workforce, unable even to fill in basic forms to allow them to take positive steps through their employment. And that figure has not changed in the life of this government. The Tasmanian Liberals are strongly committed to an education system which delivers quality and results. We'll be focusing on attendance. We'll be focusing on the quality the teaching of learning in Tasmanian schools, and this government stands condemned. Thank you.